On his first day in office, newly elected British Prime Minister Keir Starmer fulfilled a key campaign promise by scrapping the controversial plan to deport migrants who arrived in the UK illegally to Rwanda. The move, reported by The Telegraph and confirmed by Labour insiders, marks a significant policy shift from the previous Conservative government. The Rwanda deportation scheme, first announced by Boris Johnson and upheld by his successors Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak, faced numerous legal challenges and delays. Despite significant financial investment, pound 270 million already spent with further payments planned, no migrants had been deported under the scheme. Labor sources described the plan as effectively dead, emphasizing that the election itself underscored the plan's impracticality. Starmer, who had pledged to terminate the scheme during his campaign, is now tasked with addressing the broader issue of illegal migration, a key electoral issue. With an anticipated increase in small boat crossings from France, the new government will need to find alternative solutions to manage and secure the UK's borders. In her first statements as Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper emphasized the importance of border security, announcing plans to establish a new border security command. This initiative aims to enhance the UK's ability to manage its borders effectively. The new Prime Minister's early diplomatic engagements included a call from French President Emmanuel Macron, highlighting the international dimension of the migration challenge. Cooperation with France will be crucial for the UK's new strategy on migration. By invoking a break clause in the agreement with Rwanda, the UK will avoid further payments totaling £100 million over the next two years. The agreement also stipulates that Britain will continue to cover costs for any migrants already relocated, though none have been deported under the original scheme. The UK can also terminate a treaty signed earlier this year with three months' notice, potentially allowing for a complete policy reset. Starmer's decisive action on the Rwanda policy reflects his commitment to pragmatic governance, a theme he underscored in his first speech outside No. 10. Promising a government of service, Starmer indicated his leadership would be unburdened by doctrine, aiming to bridge political divides. The Labour victory, achieved with a 34% vote share, has been described as a loveless landslide. Despite this, Starmer addressed the entire nation, including those who did not vote for him, pledging that his government would serve all citizens. As Starmer's administration takes shape, with key appointments such as Rachel Reeves as the first female chancellor, David Lammy as foreign secretary, and Angela Rayner as deputy prime minister, the new government faces immediate challenges. The prime minister's agenda includes a NATO summit in Washington, D.C., reflecting the broad scope of his responsibilities from domestic policy shifts to international diplomacy. Starmer's swift move to end the Rwanda deportation plan sets the tone for his premiership signaling a clear departure from the policies of his predecessors and a commitment to addressing migration issues with a new approach.